Hi everyone, thanks very much for visiting my channel. I really do appreciate it. It's it's really nice having you here. If you're enjoying what you're watching, please definitely remember to like, subscribe. Today's actually going to be a, a fun experimental pour. I love these. I love sort of experimenting and, and seeing how the different results come out. So a couple of weeks ago I did this pour and it was a two, it was actually a two cup pour. I had a cup this side and this side and I only noticed after I was actually editing the video. So when I did the pour, I lifted this cup very quickly. Like I put it down, I lifted it quite quickly. And I was tidying up my sides and everything. And I left this pour, this cup sitting for a, lot, for a lot longer. Like I really did leave it sitting for quite some time. And I noticed they both produced quite different results. You know, when you look at it, one that came up quite quickly, there was, you know, there's a lot more blue, one. was like I say, the part that sat for quite some time. And it was mainly like a lot that's come through here. Is, it's a lot darker. So I thought, I wonder if we... So I wondered if we did a fast flip cup and then a slow flip cup and then compared the results to see what happens. So because this is an experiment, I've just, I'm just using one of my little tester canvases. It's only a 20 by 20, nothing very big. And I've only mixed up three colors today. Warm blue and a merino kind of aqua and a metallic blue. <laughs> So my cup is all ready and like I say, I'm trying to move as fast as possible. I haven't even wiped my drops off. I'm just going to go for it and put it down. So we're doing this as a fast flip. So I might move that a little bit there and literally we're going to go for it. And it's done. So I've just put excess paint around my corners and now use my blowtorch to see if I can bring up the extra cells. In terms of how much paint I've got, I think I've got enough paint on this canvas. I'm just getting it into all those little spaces. Now I've missed a space, so I just want to take it back there, get it to connect. I wonder if that will connect quickly. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So I'm off the edge there and I'm bringing it back as quickly as I can. Same again to there, pushing it off, sort of snapping it back. Same into that section there. And because I want I do want enough paint on the bottom here, a bit muddy now, so I kind of want to have the flexibility of being able to push quite a bit of that off. I'm going to push a bit back this way because this is also part of that muddy section. Come on, go. I don't want to lose too much. There, go and then come back because I really like that, that dark blue line. Oh yeah, this is nice. I like the colors. I think that's, that's a good little pour. Yes, it on the table. And if we go in close, it does look really nice. See, those are nice little those cells there I think look really pretty little satin rings it is nice so there it is now I want to do this exact same thing but I want to do it slower and see what the difference is so I've left this sitting for a little bit over five minutes I kind of lost track of time I don't know what it's going to be like it might actually be quite muddy who knows oh there's a bit of a vacuum that's been created i want to just push that up there a little bit and then i'm gonna pull it back 
right back. And then I'm going to do the same sort of thing. Now it's on my canvas. Damn it. I didn't mean to drop that bit there. I'm just going to put stuff into my corners. Um, so now I'm just going to start moving the paint around just to get it to the edges. I'm not going to start moving it to the edge of the edges yet. I just want to get it traveling. One of the things I find so frustrating about pouring at times is you often get like really now there's something stuck there. I need a stick. What is that? There's something obstructing it there. I don't know. That I might have made a mark there now. Is um sometimes your best bits are on the edges. <laughs> is certainly the case on this one and so when you go over the edge of your canvas you're going to lose heart you know the nicety of it and that's the thing I don't want to do I don't want to lose this but yeah if I can help it Right, let's keep going. No, no, let's not. I want to bring this paint and stitch it into that paint there. I want, I'm going to have to take some paint back over this way to get it to go over that edge. Let's try and so I wanted to show the, you these two paws side by side and this was the fast flip cup and this was the slow flip cup and when you actually come in close you can see the difference so the fast flip cup has more definition it's 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 kind of like crisper the colors are crisper i mean it's a very slight difference not by much but it definitely looks a, I don't know, a tidier pour. Whereas this one, it's a lot muddier. You can see it's just a little bit more cloudy. It's not as clear. I mean, it's not enough that it's it matters, but it, it is just quite interesting that, you know, it's quite clear. If you leave your cup sitting for a while, then your colors are very likely to muddy which kind of ties with this towel because when you look at this to this to me this was the fast side this was the slow side and in, when you look at it this it definitely pops it's like um it's a lot more color this definitely is a is a lot more muddier so it definitely shows you that the longer you leave your flip cup on your you know flipped over it's going to get more muddy, a little bit more blurred, a little bit darker. I mean, not enough that it's disastrous, but there's definitely a difference. So, so interesting. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. <music>